This is the Archer's Choice. Welcome to this week's Archer's Choice. And what are we doing? This week, Bear we are down. going in Saskatchewan. You bet. Yep. Michelle down. and Peter and me. So it was almost an all-girls show. Well, we could still call it a girls show. Peter won't mind. Oh, not going there. No? And you this week's lucky logo is Cabela's. Before we forget, because we Cabela's. don't want to forget, look for the Cabela's logo. How many of you have this problem, like when you're going on a trip or something, or before you're going on a trip, you, you got to go to stop at a Cabela's store. Okay. I mean, it's like... Okay, but wait. We're talking about our show. Oh, sorry. Okay. And on our way to Cabela's... Or, see, now you got me talking Cabela's. On our way to Saskatchewan, what happened? The pilot comes on, we hear a big clunk and clunk, 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 clunk. Sounds like somebody threw wrenches inside the motor, or, or you know, the, the motor. And the pilot- It'd be an engine. An engine, plane. excuse yeah, me. It's an engine. And the pilot goes, um, folks, I'm sorry, but we have to turn around. Uh, our number one engine has blown. Why couldn't they say, oh, we're having a problem that the number two engine blew? But no, they gotta say number one. Number one, you're Did like- it upset we're, you? We're gonna die. Did it's it upset over. you? Goodbye, honey. <laughs> See ya. Gosh. I'm RJ by just, number just one roll engine. Just footage. Just How stupid. One, no. Say number two. Number three or four. certainly don't know why we lost the engine, but you sure knew we lost it. <clears throat> Sounded like Vicky like washing dishes. Hey, be nice. <laughs> oh my goodness. Gate 19, honey. Gate 19. That's our luggage being put on a plane for us here in Calgary. We're being fortunate enough, Ralph, is that correct? That we're gonna go on the same type of plane we just had an engine Yeah, the on? same, same type. But it's a new crew. Okay, first the engine blows, then they misplace one of our bags. The bag that has our wireless mics, our batteries, our battery chargers, everything we need to film the hunt to show you. The good thing is Freddie met us in Saskatoon because he and Peter were hooking up up there. We stole all their equipment instead. Our bags never came. Our, our lost baggage never made it here. Um, I called the airline and they still have not found our lost bag even though we know it's in Calgary unless they sent it somewhere else um, so we're uh, just kind of and there's posse member Pete who's just losing it so I apologize for anything you ever see with him on it <laughs> Did you see me jamming <laughs> okay so um, our bags never came last night, unfortunately, and now there's no other thing we can do. We need to get out there, we need to go film, and we need to go hunt tonight. Hopefully sometime they find our bag and they'll let us know what they're gonna do with it. Um, maybe they'll even bring it up to us five hours north. I doubt it, and without money out of our pocket, so we'll see what happens. Welcome back to the Archer's Choice where we're bearing down in Saskatchewan. Can you spell that? Saskatchewan, not bearing down. Oh. Bearing down, I like. It's yeah. easier. Well, let's get into my hunt, right? You know, okay. You bears. know, talk about your hunt. You were, you like, if you would have probably taken the first nice bear that come in. But they all came in. At I would have had time. time to hunt. Do you remember we sat in the stand forever? It was raining. It was right. miserable. Hey, yeah. hey, hey. Oh. We were standing. We were in that stand forever. <sighs> Nothing was showing up. We were freezing cold. It was raining. Do you remember that? And then all of a sudden, it was like boom. Okay, here comes the bear. There's one behind us. As I'm looking at that one, there's one coming in from the front of us. There's just a pile of them. And we did try to trade at the very end after I shot mine. After, but you, if you would have shot one earlier, it would, I would have had more time. Whatever. Well, the 
weather's changed a little bit since since all week long. Last two times we sat in the stand, I melted with the sunshine. Today we have overcast and it's drizzling outside. Ralph's actually got an umbrella up over him so he doesn't get wet. Okay, so, so the camera doesn't get wet. Thank you. <laughs> He's yelling at me. So the camera doesn't get wet. We've got a good wind going away from the bait site, hopefully with this overcast. Maybe the bears will move a little earlier tonight. Now you see why I didn't get a bear. Vicky just sat in the stand, waited and waited and waited, and well, by the time it was done, hunt's over. Time for this week's Bow Hunting World Magazine Tip of the Week. You know, your Bow Hunting World Tip of the Week is real simple. You know, all of us like to put decals on. You like to show off what we are and what we do. The bottom line here is most of us don't know how to put them on right. Lou's going to tell us from LVE Decals how to do it right. You want to first clean your glass. You want to take and separate your backing paper and put the blue backer in the waste can. You want to center your decal on the window. Squeeze it down with your hand, credit card, make sure to get the bubbles out. Remove the transfer tape, and you've got a decal that you can enjoy for many years. Pretty sticky, huh? That is your bow hunting world tip of the week. Here's a good example of seeing all those bears at one bait site. This proves to you that baiting the bears does help the bear population. You know, for every bear that you see at the bait, there's probably four or five that you don't. So does baiting help? Absolutely.
beautiful, beautiful bear. Look at him. Hey there, bud. Beautiful, beautiful bear. Oh. Well, we've hunted hard. He's a little wet now, and so are we. Welcome back to the Archer's Choice. Now let's join posse member Michelle Helen on her first bear hunt. First ever. Yeah. Mm, you go, girl. That's right. You go, girl. If you would have gave me more time, I would have probably got a bear that hunt. Yeah, well, if Michelle would have gave Art more time, he probably would have got one too, but you know yeah. that's how Do things go. Do we see go. a pattern forming here? Hey, no problem. Girls roll. It's night four. I'm bear hunting in Saskatchewan with East Trout Lake Outfitters. It's a beautiful night, warm and sunny. We're just going to sit back and see what happens. Hey, congratulations, Michelle. You go, girl. I love it when there's more women out there in the woods with us. The new Thunder had XP. Complete pass through, stuck in the log. He kind of what came, he kind of went the way he came in, but then I saw him take a right and I didn't see him come out, so. Should be right down here. Let's go get him. Oh. Go this way. Right there. Where? There he is. There he is. Look at this bear. That's a real nice bear. I'm happy with him. And I'm I'm real happy with him. I want to thank East Trout Lake Outfitters with Peter and Warren for sticking in there with me and Ralph and Vicky for sending me up here on my first hunt. This is pretty good. I'm real happy. Welcome back to the Archer's Choice. Yeah, now we're going to join Peter Bofill up at Science of the North. It's about time a guy's hunting on our show today. Hey, you know what? It's not our fault. And if you really look at it, it was couples this week. You and I, Art and Michelle, Freddie and Peter. Couples? You're calling Freddie and Peter couples. Ouch. Let's just get into Peter's oh. footage, shall we? Oh. I'm not touching that one. Mm -mm. You know, Freddie been hunting hard for four days now, trying to get on these bears. The views are still find out the areas where some been some real nice bears. As we were walking in, there was a bear already at our feet. Man, you see me talking and said, I know he's around here. He's ready to pop out again any, any time. We're trying to hurry up, get everything set up and ready for him. So let's see, let, let's see what happens here.
You put the snack down on that point. <laughs> Hunting with Silence of the North Outfitters. And man, take a look at the size of bears they got here. Wow. And all of a sudden, there he comes in. Oh, man. I started telling Freddy, Freddy's a bear, a bear. And then he starts shaking. And gets me more nervous. Oh, I don't know who was more nervous, the camera guy or me. But let me tell you, nervous or not, or not, we put the smack down on this. We hope you enjoyed this week's Archer's Choice. And we want to thank all the outfitters that we went up with the Saskatchewan and Saskatchewan Tourism. You know, bearing down is, is a fun thing, especially when you could get, get going in the spring, because then it opens up your whole fall for all kinds of creatures. Right, and you don't have to hunt turkeys then. No, the only thing you really want to look for when you're, when you're hunting with somebody, with, with you know, bear hunting, is that your partner is very considerate and doesn't, you know, just take up the whole week's hunt. Hey, did you see this week's Cabela's logo? If you saw this week's Cabela's logo, yes, you need to yeah, log on sure. to huntingnet.com slash archer's choice. Look, give us a little information and someone's going to win some goodies from Cabela's. Because so, you might be able to use them, but if you're hunting with your wife, you will never be able to take them into the We hope you enjoyed this week's show. We'll see you next week. Hide. Same time, same channel, right here on the archer's choice. Yeah. Well, maybe next week you could just do the whole show by yourself because it's just always like that anyway.